Yo, 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 what's up? It is your boy Bo here, and I'm back with some more truth and facts, all right? Shout out to everybody out there at the movement, everybody that's moving with us. All right, so <laughs> let me jump right into this. Let me get my quick thoughts. It's going to be real quick about the so-called uh, suspension of Canelo Alvarez, and this is why I say so-called, right? So as we know, Canelo Alvarez, we know he tested positive for clambuterol, tried to lie to the public about showing us the second test, making it look like the amount that he tested for on the se uh, on the second test is is uh, 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 is what you know would be considered as tainted meat. When in reality, they the second the, the the first test that he failed, they never told us about this first test. They tried to hide the fact that the first test is what the the amount that was used in that first test is what you is what you would have found in your system if you was a user. Okay. Uh, then I did a video about some De La Hoya and the so-called apology, and this is why I'm getting to the so-called suspension. So, the uh, uh, in uh, Nevada State Athletic Commission had a hearing that they was gonna hold for Canelo Alvarez, which kind of put the fight in jeopardy. Then Canelo withdrew. So then they just passed a, a decision suspending Canelo Alvarez for one year. However, not so fast. It's really now six months, and the reason they're doing that is because they're saying that if you go back to when the, the first failed test was reported. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so they're starting the clock at when the first failed test were reported and because Carnelo Alvarez was cooperating with them. Well, my problem with that is this. He cooperated because he got caught. Like, they making it seem like he voluntarily came in said, listen, man, I did X, Y, and Z, and uh, but, you know, you know, here's all the information and I'm willing to cooperate. No, he cooperated only because it was reported that this motherfucker got caught. The motherfucker got caught and cooperated. So you're, you're giving the guy some type of uh, uh, attaboy for cooperating. After you caught him doing something wrong, he got caught. Bottom line. Only reason why he cooperated because he got caught. It wasn't like he came fucking forward and said it. And then on top of that, like I said in, in the video, when I go De La Hoya on the so-called apology, they never admitted to any wrongdoing. And they still have not admitted that they purposely took this, that they purposely took Klamuderov, right? So uh, he gets suspended and they take six months off of it. So in essence, the uh, 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 Nevada State of Letter Commission only did something to say, Okay, look, we did something. When you when you look at the punishment here, six months, <laughs> Carnelo. I mean, if, if Carnelo wasn't gonna fight in May, right? He wasn't gonna fight uh, 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 June, July, or August anyway. He was gonna fight again in September. So they just did. They just made a decision to make it look like okay, look, y'all, we did something to please you know people who was out crying or had an outcry about this situation. They just did it to say, hey, look, hey, look at us, y'all. We did something. When in reality, you didn't do jack shit because the motherfucker's still going to fight within the same year he fucking tested positive. Okay? So, uh, this was, you know, uh, I mean, you still got to give him some credit for doing something. But at the same time, you know, I, I got to give, you know what I'm saying, I got to give them my shady look because, you know, I'm, I'm just looking at them at the corner of my eye like, you know, yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, whatever. And, and, and yeah, you listen, we shouldn't be surprised by this because... You know, Golovkin and Canelo is still a big money fight, and it is. And the the thing about boxing is that, um, you know, boxing. I mean, when 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 you have the money and you have the cards, you can you 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 know these governing bodies will allow you to do certain things. You got a guy like Povetkin who's in line for a title shot right now, who shouldn't even be. He failed twice too in the same year, right? So, you know, it is what it is. But this is, you know, they. This is still an attempt to salvage a uh, Gennady Golovkin and a Carnelo Alvarez fight, in my opinion. Um, now the the big question is going to be because we all heard that Canelo Alvarez had knee surgery, uh, 
on his knee. The question is going to be is, will they actually fight Golovkin in September now? Like, that's my question is, okay, will he will he really fight Golovkin in September after having this, you know, this his knee worked on? And they may still fight him. They may still fight him. I'm just kind of, you know, just kind of throwing it out there. Just, you know, my thoughts on that. But, um, and, and, and this is the reason why even in uh, uh, Gennady Golovkin's situation, why, you know, the fight he, he took on with Vonis. Now, mind you, Golovkin tried to fight Gary O'Sullivan. Sullivan turned, turned it down, right? Uh, HBO licensing fees claimed they was, there wasn't enough money there for, them, for him to fight uh, uh, Dervin, Yank, uh, uh, Dervin Yanchenko. Uh, Sergey Dervinchenko, who is Lou DiBella's, uh, Lou DiBella promotes him. There wasn't enough muff, enough money to accommodate either Golovkin or uh, Sergey uh, uh, Sergey Dervinchenko, right? So that fight, you know, couldn't, you know, wasn't gonna get made. So he's fighting Vonis Monterosian, who hasn't fought at 160, hasn't fought in two years, okay? Uh, so and they, you know, and they was hoping still you know to try to get still try to get the canelo fight because it is a big it is a big money fight right but as far as the suspension as far as this decision i'm not shocked i'm not surprised i don't i, I think a lot of us kind of knew that you know uh they wasn't gonna slam the hammer on canelo so to speak and they, 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 they there was there was going to be some attempt to still try to salvage this fight for this year you know so you know man leave me your thoughts man let me know what y'all think that's just some quick i just want to throw my thoughts out there you know, like I said, uh, they did something, but in my they, they but in my opinion, it's one of those situations where, okay, you know, we're doing something just to show that, hey, you know, look, guys, we will do something, but you didn't do much at all, period. And it, I can, like, I can literally look at this and be like, all right, man, whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just like the, yeah, all right, man, whatever. You know, kudos for. You know, you know, pat yourselves on the back for actually taking some initiative. But in the end, the you know, it was, in my opinion, it's a weak ass attempt at a punishment. That's like if your kid that, that's like if your kid do something wrong. Right. And you tell them, I'm, you know, I'm going to put you on punishment. OK, I'm going to put you, you know, you're on punishment for a month. But because you've been acting good, I'm going to let you go back outside in two days. What kind of shit is that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would have loved some shit like that when I was growing up, you know? And then, you know what, on top of that, you know who should really be ashamed of themselves in this situation? The fucking WBC. The WBC, the WBC should be ashamed of themselves. They went out, uh, uh, if you go to 3kingboxing.com, there's an article in there about how they suspended Quadras. And they suspended Quadras because he, uh, he failed to take a test before the fight that took place. Uh, I think his fight that took place in December, okay, and he failed to actually take the 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 uh, anti doping test. So they suspended this dude. The WBC suspended him, right? But oh, well, when it came to Carnella, who got caught, so a dude don't take the test, get suspended. But a guy get caught and he don't get suspended. And the WBC been backing Carnello this whole time, despite overwhelming evidence that this motherfucker cheated, right? And like my man uh, 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 Willie the Kid. Uh, uh, posted and said WB stands for We Back Carnello. Yeah, exactly. That's what it stands. They should be fucking ashamed of themselves because it took an outside entity to do what you should have done immediately, which was suspend Canelo Alvarez, right? And the bad part about this is Canelo has pretty much treated the WBC like a side piece. You know, remember back when he first fought Golovkin, he didn't want nothing to do with them. He treated them like a damn side piece. Like, I don't even want y'all garbage belt. I remember when he fought Chavez and they tried to make some type of belt for that fight? He's like, man, get that crap out of here. You know what I'm saying? He's been treating him like a side chick he don't want. You know, and they study, oh, oh, you know, kissing that ass, you know. So that's just funny to me. And they should be ashamed of them, God. They should be horribly ashamed of themselves. You suspend Quadras. Uh, you tweet out about Luis Ortiz and, you know, and, and all of this stuff. Oh, but when it came to Carnello, you know what I'm saying? The rule book all of a sudden got hit up underneath the fucking desk. You know, you know, they need to get the fuck out of here, too. They should be totally ashamed of them motherfucking selves. At least the at least in SAC did something. Like I say, I might not be happy about the, the decision, but at least they fucking did something. You motherfuckers didn't do nothing at all, period. Nothing. Jack shit. Nothing. You know, so, you know, and that's that's just something else that I just want to, you know, get out there because it really bugs me to see how. How when it came to other fighters, how the WBC did handle it 
But when it comes to when it came to Carnelo Alvarez, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they just kind of was like, oh, no, 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 no. no. You, oh, well, you know, we have to take this. Because, fuck out of here. That's really what it is. So, all right, you guys, man, tell me what y'all think, man. It's your man, Bo. Peace.